If you think fantasy football has nothing to do with sports card investing, then I've only got two words for you. Come on, man. I mean, come on, man. Come on, man. Last year, Debo Samuel was going as the wide receiver number 35. His average draft position in fantasy drafts was 75.2. That means he was going in the seventh round. And what happened? Debo Samuel went out and finished as the wide receiver three on the season. And now his current ADP for 2022 is the wide receiver number six overall. He's going in the second round of fantasy football drafts. And if you look at his sold rookie cards from November, December, uh, his Prism Silvers, his rookie ticket autos, and compare that to now, they have gone up between two and 300%. So in this video today, I'm gonna to share with you one player that I believe will be the 2022 Debo Samuel. And I've already purchased a few of his cards that I wanna share with you as I break down why I say this. So let's dig in. All right. Now as we dig into this first package, guys, if you like this style of content, you're passionate about fantasy football and football cards go ahead and smash that subscribe button hit that little bell notification icon so you don't miss any action and share with a friend man share with a friend hit that like button a little like button down there youtube algorithm likes that all right so let's check out who i'm talking about right here dj moore is an extra in here with well, some nice illusions thick card stock and so is the Simi Fejoko. But we are talking about Antonio Gibson today on the Washington. I still have a hard time saying this with a straight face. Commanders now. The Washington Commanders. Gibson played all over the field in high school, but he planned to play wide out at the next level. After spending two years at East Central Community College in Mississippi, the Georgia native played wide receiver and took a handful of carries at Memphis while sharing the depth chart with future NFL running backs Tony Pollard, Darrell Henderson, and Kenny Gainwell. He didn't transition full-time to running back until Washington drafted him in the third round of the 2020 NFL Draft. Somewhat amazingly, despite playing an entirely new position, he has more career rushing yards in the NFL than his three previously mentioned teammates. He credits that to opportunities and being placed in a good situation. When Antonio Gibson was coming out, drafted in the third round, selection 66 from the Memphis Tigers, his analysis was that he was an absolute terror after the catch. 17 broken tackles on 38 catches. Bounces in and out of cuts, losing no speed. Powerfully built. Defenders slip off his legs. And you can see his insane height adjusted speed score at 6'2", 220 with the speed that he runs. And he's got very, very little wear on his body with 77 career touches in college. Absolutely incredible. The rest of it was wide receiving work. Compare that to Jonathan Taylor, who took over 10 times as many carries in college that Antonio Gibson had. And so Washington initially told Antonio Gibson that they planned to move him around the field after he caught 38 passes for 735 yards with eight touchdowns and carried the ball 33 times for 369 yards with four more scores as a senior with the Tigers. But he understands he fir must first learn the intricacies of running back before transitioning to an overall offensive weapon position similar to Debo Samuels or Corey Cordell Patterson's. So one of the things he's working on is getting his pad level lower, running with more force. So from weeks 10 to weeks 13 in the 2021 season, Antonio Gibson forced 23 missed tackles, tied for most in the NFL in that span. And AG is hard on himself. You know, he's still growing accustomed to a new position that requires more physicality. Another thing Antonio Gibson is phenomenal at because of this power this height adjusted speed score he has is 10 runs of 10 plus yards in the last four weeks weeks 10 through 13 and an explosive run rate of 10.5 percent that's up seven runs of 10 plus yards and an explosive run rate of 6.3 percent in the first eight weeks of the season so he's done a tremendous job of learning on the fly in his first two nfl season he feels like he's still seeing significant gains every week that he gets more and more reps he played through a nagging uh, shin stress fracture the beginning of 2021 season, or he would have 
done even better. You know, he went from 170 attempts for 795 yards and 36 receptions for 247 yards and 11 touchdowns in 2020 to 258 attempts in 2021, 1,037 yards, seven touchdowns, and 42 reception for 294 yards and three touchdowns. So that's a total of 208.1 fantasy points. His current ADP is 26.5. So he's actually going the back end of the second round, beginning of the third round, position rank of RB13. And he's got the potential to go out and put over up over 300 fantasy points in 2022 as he becomes more of a bell cow running back and those are the guys you want to invest in and right now his prices are just way too cheap he's got a tremendous amount of variety being a 2020 rookie but i love the fact that he's got low low super low mileage on his wheels so to speak and so targeting his rookie ticket autos this was a red prism you know it's a contender's optic Rookie Ticket Auto, Red Prism, On Card, Autograph, Blue Sharpie. These cards typically grade pretty well. Um, you can see this card has very sharp corners, very sharp edges, um, wonderful refraction on the top of it, On Card Auto. I like his penmanship with the big AG. It's very consistent. That'll definitely grade a 10. This card looks to be in phenomenal shape. The centering you can see better on the back looks really good. And the one thing this seller didn't do was they just left it numbered out of 199. But you can see this is a book in. And we've recently discovered how important specific serial numbers are to cards, such as 24 out of 199 or 1 out of 199 or the book in. I think it's really cool to have matching serial numbers here that I've got the book in, the 199 out of 199. There's a lot of collectors uh, that hold this card as more valuable because of that specific serial number. And I've spoken to a lot of people about this. And this is a guy, guys, that we've been talking a, a, a lot about sharing different auctions, snipe opportunities, if you will, buy low, super high value opportunities in our Discord server. Um, and this is guy we've been talking about, we've been capitalizing on, we're ready to capitalize and make a profit on Antonio Gibson in 2022. And you can get access to that Discord server as well today by going to patreon.com slash football cards. It's six bucks a month and we provide a tremendous amount of value through the dozen different channels we've got in the Discord server, plus all the extra content providing over on Patreon. And I was able to pick this card up for a total of $37. The It was able to win this in auction for $29.99 plus $465 standard shipping. So a total of $37 out the door. Uh, but with the rarity of this card, the condition, I may go ahead and send this into SGC uh, right now and get it back in the next 30 days or so. And because uh, this card is in very, very good shape. If I could get at least a 9.5 or a 10 on it, that will add some really nice value to the card well above and beyond the $30 investment to get it graded. And so uh, that's a really nice strategy for a card like this and then get it listed in the Buy It Now format for at least $100. Uh, These, you know, go look up rookie ticket autos for Antonio Gibson. There's not a ton of them floating around. And especially serial numbered with a book in and color match to his team. So love, love, love this pickup. Um, I'd be comfortable paying up to around $50, $60 for this card and still feel good about being able to double my money. So yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. So Washington is getting the number 11 overall pick in the upcoming draft. Uh, I could easily see them going with an offensive lineman or they could draft a quarterback. You know, they're not sold on Tyler Heineke. Uh, Ryan Fitzpatrick will also be a free agent. And Washington is in a position to draft a quarterback, potentially Kenny Pickett from Pittsburgh, something like that. Plain white envelope, so you know that I got the shipping on the low for this card and I bought this one intentionally to share some insight with you guys around more common cards more more base cards 
because I do recognize that people are at uh, various budget levels. So here we've got Antonio Gibson, select Premier, Silver Prism. So Premier was the mid-tier of select from 2020. It also was part of the, you know, the select retail set. So there definitely was an increased print run in select in 2020 over previous years. No doubt about that. Um, plus they, they added a, a, a different, an additional tier in that club level, which they've done away with this year, by the way. Um, but my message about these kind of cards is this. It's all about your budget, your opportunity costs, and the entry price point. See, I got this card for for a dollar fifty, plus the ninety three cent shipping. I got this card for a total of two dollars and forty cents. This is a card I could easily see myself doubling my money and listing for five six dollars with a plain white envelope shipping and a buy it now. He pops off. People that only have uh, a, a total bankroll to spend on cards per month of twenty, thirty, forty dollars. Don't want to spend it all on one card. And you know, this is a short print card. It does look nice. He is in an action pose. Uh, you know, it does have the rookie card logo. It's got team logos. And this is a nice looking card. It is well centered, left to right, top to bottom. Um, and somebody. I can definitely see, you can see this in other, you know, Jonathan, look at the, the value of Jonathan Taylor's uh, Premier Silver Prism. Those cards are selling from, from $5 to $10, $10 on average in a buy it now format. So yeah, I mean, the, the, the thing is I have to weigh the opportunity cost for me of receiving this card and uh, cataloging it taking a picture of it relisting it on ebay which does take some time and then you know printing out the label and dropping it off at the post office and sending it to the buyer and only making a five to ten dollar profit on it is is not a whole lot now if you do that in volume now you could be looking at a potential lot of money if you've got a lot of time however you could do the same principle with a rookie ticket auto autograph numbered out of 199 and with one card one transaction of one card i could buy this low for 35 40 dollars and sell it for a hundred now making a 50 dollar profit instead of a five to ten dollar profit i'm still realizing about the same percentage in roi however i'm doing what i could do with 10 cards i'm doing with one card so you know, weighing the opportunity cost, weighing what your budget is, is very important. But understanding that these base cards, if you don't have a bigger budget of $100, $200, $300, then this is not a true base card. This is a short print, more common card, but it is still short print. So still a phenomenal investment at the price point under $5. I would say try and pick these up for $2, $3 all day long. That's a really smash play, guys. So let me know in the comments section below what is your favorite card set to target for 2021 rookies such as antonio gibson how do you feel about the name washington commanders and the uh washington command <laughs> i'm gonna struggle saying that going into 2022 see you in the next one peace <laughs>